Like all equilibrium constants, Kc is a ratio of products compared to reactants in the mixture, essentially a fraction. Products go on the top of the fraction and reactants on the bottom. We are basing the ratio on the molar concentrations of everything present at equilibrium, and we show concentration in chemistry using square brackets. Any time you see square brackets in an expression, they are referring to the concentration of the thing inside the brackets. For example, square brackets H2 means concentration of H2 in moles per decimeter cubed. We also need to take the reacting ratios given in the reaction equation into account when calculating Kc. To do this, we raise the concentration of a substance by its molar ratio, or coefficient, in the equation. For example, hydrogen and iodine, H2 and I2, form an equilibrium system with hydrogen iodide, Hi, as the product of the forward reaction. To write the Kc expression for this system, we would put the product concentration, Hi, on the top of the fraction, square brackets remember, and the concentrations of the reactants, H2 and I2, on the bottom of the fraction, multiplied by each other. The molar ratios, or coefficients, for the reaction of H2, I2 and Hi are 1 to 1 to 2, meaning in the expression we raise the concentration of H2 to the power 1, I2 to the power 1, and Hi to the power 2. Anything raised to the power 1 just means the same value, meaning we can simplify this down to concentration of Hi squared divided by concentration of H2 times by concentration of I2. Really important to understand that the concentrations being used in the expression are the concentrations of everything at equilibrium. It's like taking a snapshot of the system whilst it's at equilibrium and using the concentrations of everything at this moment in the Casey expression.